life giver. Yes, Jesus is a life giver. Therefore, every death situation this morning, I speak life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every deadness around you, every dead atmosphere. I speak the life of God this morning. Those of you who are sick in your body this morning, receive life. Receive life and strength from the most high God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus upon your life this morning. I soak your, I soak the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I decree and declare this morning that Jesus is Lord over our lives. His law over the nations. His law over every situation that comes our way. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare this morning that no weapon from against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I take authority over this day. I declare the word of God today over our lives, over our family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bring an end to night weakness. Yeah. I command the east wind of God to blow in the camp of the enemy. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless your name this morning. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you for the gift of life this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless every one of you this morning. It is Friday morning, the end of the week. We thank God for giving us the grace to come thus far. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we begin our day with the Holy Spirit, continuing continue our series uh, from this week about the whole armors of God. The dress code of every believer. Hallelujah. We live in the world where we, the Bible tells us that the battle we fight, it is not against flesh and blood. This battle comes from the reins of the spirit. So we have to be dressed as believers. So when the enemy brings attacks, when he brings trials, he brings temptations, we are able to defeat him. Hallelujah. Because we are well dressed. So God has given us this dress code in the book of Ephesians, beginning from verse 10 all the way down to verse 18. We talk about the first um, piece of the armor yesterday, the dress code that is the, uh, the whole armors of God that God wants us to wear every day because we are soldiers on the battlefield. Therefore, we ought to be dressed up so that we can now be defeated when the borders come. When the enemy sent his border, it will not touch us because well, we are dressed up. So yesterday we discussed the first pieces, the first piece of armor, which is the belt of truth represents the word of God. Today we are beginning the second armor, which is the breastplate of righteousness. It's also found in Ephesians 6 verse 14. B, it says, put on the, make sure the breastplate of righteousness is in place. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to make sure the breastplate of righteousness in, is in place. The breastplate of righteousness represents our purity. Remember when God saved you, when you gave your life to Jesus, God imputed righteousness unto you. And as a believer, we ought to live a righteous Holy set apart life every day we rise up, making sure our ways are pleasing to God, making sure we are staying away from sin. Hallelujah. Sin give access. Sin give access to the devil to our life. Sin open the door for the enemy to penetrate our lives. So as believers, we ought to be pure. Remember the God we serve. The Bible said, I am holy. Be ye holy for I am holy. With our holiness, no one can see the face of God. It is important as believers, we live a holy, set apart life. We ought to be like our Father who is holy. We ought to stay away from sin. Sin is the property of the devil. Every time we disobey God, every time we sin against the law, we have given access. We are giving the devil access to our lives. So this piece of armor is the breastplate of righteousness. It has to be in place at all times. So when temptation comes, when trial comes, when the enemy brings attack, he will not succeed. 
Hallelujah. We ought to live a holy life. The holy life is not just for certain kind of people. It is not just for pastors or people out there. The life of holiness is for every believer. And we have to make heaven. We ought to live a holy life. And we have to please the Lord. We ought to live a holy life. And we have to defeat the devil. We ought to live a holy life. Remember, when you gave your life to Jesus, God placed a white garment on you. And that garment needs to stay clean. Hallelujah. So I pray this morning as you go throughout this weekend, we will put on the breastplate of righteousness in the name of Jesus. That means we will live a holy and set apart life. We will be pure. Our ways will be pure before the Lord. The Bible says, Who shall have sent into the hills of the Lord? Only those with clean hands and the pure heart. So even to stand before God, you have to be pure. Hallelujah. So take the life of purity very serious. Don't play games with your life. Do not live in continuous sin. Don't entertain sin. Stay away from sin. Hallelujah. Remember the coming of the Lord is ahead. And when Jesus comes, the those who are ready are those who are living a holy life. So you might as well just do it right because you don't know when the Lord is coming and you don't know when you're going to die. I pray this morning. We will keep on the breastplate of righteousness. Whatever we do this week, and it will bring glory to God. Our ways, our lifestyle will bring glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive grace this morning to be well dressed. Receive grace to put on the breastplate of righteousness. That when the Lord calls you home, you will be ready. Or when the enemy comes and attack you, he will find you ready in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God keep you, God strengthen you. God cause his face to shine upon you. God be gracious unto you. I see you all tonight at 8 p.m. for the time of prayer and the word. Don't forget to tune in tonight. Divine Guidance International Ministries. Hallelujah on Facebook and on YouTube at 8 p.m. We are doing a series about the God kind of love. Come and grow. Come let's pray and come and grow in the Lord. God bless you. I see you all tonight at 8 p.m. Bye-bye. Life giver. Yes, Jesus is a life giver. Therefore, every dead situation this morning, I speak life in the mighty 